Good day, Grade 3 Scientists! Welcome to our lesson for Science 3, Quarter 2, Week 1, Day 3. Our topic for today is Describing Objects by Color, Shape, and Texture. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you! Objective at the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe objects based on their color, shape, and texture. Activating Prior Knowledge This is our Mr. Yosong Bayong or Misery Basket. Inside, there are five fruits and vegetables. Let's see what they are. Pineapple, watermelon, makopa, apple, and atis. How did you estimate the size and weight yesterday? Correct! We used our eyes or we felt them with our hands. Yes! You did it by looking and touching. We learned that some small things can be heavy and some big things can be light. Today, we will use our eyes and hands again, but this time, we will describe objects more closely. We will talk about their color, shape, and texture, what they look and feel like. This will help us get better at observing things around us. Just like real scientists. Lesson Purpose Intention Today, we're going to use our eyes and hands to explore different objects around us. Our goal for today is to describe objects based on their color, shape, and texture. When we say color, we mean what we see, like red, green, or yellow. When we say shape, we mean if something is round, square, long, or short. And when we say texture, we mean how something feels. Is it smooth, rough, soft, or hard? Lesson Language Today, we'll learn three new words that will help us describe objects. Let me explain what each word means in a simple way. Texture, how something feels when we touch it. Is it smooth, rough, soft, or hard? Triangular, shaped like a triangle, which has three sides. Rectangular, shaped like a rectangle, which has four sides. Too long, too short. Here are three pictures who want to come up and match the word with the picture. Now that we know these words, let's, uh, let's use them to describe different objects today. Let's get started! Reading the Key Ideas 10 Activity 3 Scavenger Hunt Where are these objects? Materials needed? Per learner, notebook, pen, growing materials, Group Data Notebook, What to Do Part A, Station 1 Per Learner Number 1, Look Around You Number 2, 
look for a yellow, red, orange, green, or blue object. Answer question 1. What is the object? Answer question 2. What is its color? Number 3. Draw and label it in your notebook. Number 4. Now, look for an object with any of the following colors. Yellow, red, orange, green, or blue. Its shape should be round, rectangular, square, oval, or triangle. Number 5. Draw and label it in your notebook. Question 3. What is the object? Describe its color and shape. Part B. Station 2. Per pair. Number 1. Look around you. Number 2. Find a smooth object. Answer question 5. What is that object? Number 3. Find a rough object. Question 6. What is that object? Number 4. Find an object that is smooth and round. And number 5. Draw and label it in your notebook. For part C and part D, if there is a limited time, you can do it tomorrow. Developing Understanding of the Key Ideas STEM Part A. Station 1 Per Learner Let's begin with Part A. Look around you. Find something that is yellow, red, orange, green, or blue. What is the object? The possible answer is a red pencil case. For question 2, what is its color? Red. Now, draw the object in your notebook and label it. Next, find another object with any of those colors, but this time, also look at its shape. It can be round, rectangular, square, oval, or triangular. Question 3. What is that object? The possible answer is green water bottle. Question 4. Describe its color and shape. The possible answer is color green and round. Draw and label this object too in your notebook. Part B. Station 2. Prepare. Now with your partner, look around for a smooth object. Question 5. What is that object? The possible answer for that is the cover of a notebook, which is smooth. Now, find something that feels rough. What is that object? The possible answer is the doormat. The doormat feels rough. Now, find something that is smooth and round. Draw it and label it in your notebook. A possible answer is a ping pong ball is smooth and round. For part C or part D, you can continue discussing it tomorrow if there is a limited time.
Deepening Understanding of the Key Ideas 10. Class, now that we've learned how to describe objects using our sense of sight and touch, let's think about how we use these skills at home or during playtime. Which activities at home do you use your sense of sight? And touch to describe an object's color, shape, or texture. The possible answer for that is, when I organize my school bag, I look at the color of my notebooks and feel if they are thick or thin. Very good! We use our eyes to see the color and shape and our hands to feel the texture or thickness. Can you think of any games where you use your senses to describe or guess objects? The possible answer for that, in the game, Guess It, where blindfolded and try to guess objects by touching them and feeling their shape and texture. Great! That's a fun way to use your observation skills while playing. So remember, you don't just use these skills in science. You use them every day, at home, at school, and even in games. Making generalization and abstractions Today, we learned that we can describe objects using our senses. We can describe an object by looking at its color and shape and by touching it to feel its texture and hardness. These help us tell more about the things we see and use every day. Evaluating learning Direction Read each sentence carefully. Write true if the sentence is correct and write false if it is not correct. Here are the correct answers. Great job today everyone! You listen well, share your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to read, learn, observe, and have fun. See you next time!